Dartford look to bounce back from defeat to Concord Rangers against St Albans City here at Prince's Park. Knowing defeat could see them lose their grip on second place and slip down as far as fourth if results go against them. The team news them for Dartford. Ben Dodzinski starts in goal with Jordan Winter, Richard Chin, Samir Carruthers, Connor Estham, Tom Bonner, Luke Allen, Maxwell Statham, Harvey Bradbury, Sam Adaldu and Janae Mead completing the 11. On the bench for the darts is Luke Colson, Manny Adeboale, Pierre Funku, Charlie Sheringham and Malachi Napa. For today's visitors, it's Dylan Berry in goal with Devante Stanley, Aidan francis Clark, Kyron Wiltshire, Callum Adebayi, Ryan Blackman, Mitchell Weiss, Joy McKenna, Tafari Moore, Glenn McConnell and Che Cooper. And on the bench for the Saints is Sean Jeffers, Hugh Dawson, Zane Banton, Ben Smith and Joe Neal. Janaid Mead will take this throw for Darford. Sends it down the line. It's a bit loopy. Glanced onwards by Adaldu, but that goes more or less straight up in the air. It'll come back towards Janaid Mead. He'll let it run for Tom Bonner. His clearance is poor and it comes for Che Cooper, but Mead can win it back for Darford. Enough time to get his head up and look to play it right for Richard Chin. And to make himself awkward against Adebayi. Does just about well enough Adebayi to find Safari Moore. Nice ball clipped inside by Safari Moore. Comes for McConnell. Richard Chin though wins it high up the field for Darford, in towards the area, squares it for Carruthers, shoots on his right foot and yeah. finds the corner, Samir Carruthers gives Darford the lead against St Albans City, from the edge of the area, might have taken a little deflection on the way in but it found the bottom corner and after excellent work from Richard Chin to win the ball high up the field, he laid it left to Samir Carruthers who gets his first goal for a while and puts Darford into an early lead here against St Albans City. Devante Stanley will take this throw. Receives it back, drives in field, got a bit of space to run into. Stanley into the area, pokes it forward. It will drop for the number 27 to shoot. Glenn McConnell, the man, and he puts it over the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. But Darford have got an opportunity here from this set play. No Luke Colson, so Samir Carruthers will be on corner taking duties. He raises both arms before whipping it in on his right boot towards the back post. Tom Bonner gets the first contact across their face, a goal, good header away. Richard Chin looks to head it back in towards the area before St Albans can fully clear all the way up to Jordan Winter on the halfway line who can bring it down and look to play Darfur four once more. Samir Carruthers again uses the dummy run of Chin to look to play it inside. Conor Essam gets up well, Bradbury can look to bring it down on the edge of the area. Here is Harvey Bradbury, lays it left for Janae Mead, has to take a touch, comes inside in his right boot, gets away from Stanley, still Janae Mead, drives it in towards the near post, and Dylan Berry gets down well. Flips it back to his centre half, who nods it sideways to Francis Clark. Now with Devante Stanley. St Albans looking to hold a bit of sustained pressure over Darford here as Wiltshire picks it up in the middle of the park. Back to Francis Clark once more. He sends it forward on the right-hand side. Good ball that. Drops in behind Tom Bonner. Ryan Blackman will be able to keep it in. Swings it in towards the area. Vice gets there ahead of the Darford man, Connor Essam, and pokes it narrowly wide of the post and behind for a goal kick. Played down the right-hand side now. Che Cooper gets away from Tom Bonner. And there's acres of space for Stanley to run into. He's got men arriving in the middle, Stanley. Checks back on Janae Mead, able to poke it into a bit of space for himself to run onto. Sees himself up for a cross on his right boot. And it comes towards the back foot. Safari, Med Safari Moore's head up, goes down into the turf. Janae Mead will send this throw down the left-hand side. Wiltshire flicks on. Conor Essam steps up again, the bounce doesn't go the way of the Darford man and again St Albans are in down the right hand side, surely this is the one for St Albans as Che Cooper comes into the area and drives it just wide of the post, Darford are living on the edge. Francis Clark down the right hand side, headed away by Conor Essam, sent again forward by Francis Clark, Tom Bonner gets his head to it, heads it away, Blackman nods it on, and it'll run in behind Tom Bonner, he's going to have to be careful. Hooks it in towards Sam Adaldu. Gets there ahead of Vice, but then loses out. And Vice can come into the area. Great footwork from Vice. Plays across the face of goal for Tafari Moore, who's hit the bar from about six yards out. Still not clear. Cooper hooks it out to the right hand side for Devante Stanley. He'll send a cross in towards the back post. Connor Essen flicks it away. Comes straight to Tafari Moore. 
Got to be careful, Darfur, not to make a foul. Deflecting in towards the near post, off the line. And then Luke Allen can look to clear for Darford. Still, he hasn't cleared it. It's a poor clearance, and then he stabs it out for a throw-in. How on earth Darford are still in front here? I could not tell you. Because though it's a fairly similar setup to that of the first half for Darford. Perhaps now more of a 4-3-3, sooner than a 4-2-3-1. Good pressing from Luke Allen. No foul by Luke Allen. He's won it in the area. Luke Allen goes for goal. He's put it over the bar. Big chance for Luke Allen, who did really well to win it high up the field. So Dzinski will send this long for Dartford. Now on the right-hand side, Colson will look to make it his, and he'll do so. He's got a man right in his back, though. Need to work it, perhaps, for a corner. In the end, he can flick it through the St Albans man's legs. And it's put out of play for a Dartford throw-in. Taken on to Colson. Looks to clip a ball into the area. Headed clear, drops for Janae Mead. Strikes it at goal, good save from Dylan Berry. It's as though he's giving a bit of a signal to his teammates as to which sort of delivery to expect. As McConnell places it down, it'll be an away swinger. It's a low one again in towards the near post. Good touch from Cooper. Lays it back to McConnell, onside. Chin getting tight, but Cooper can hook it in towards the area, in towards the near post, punched away from Dzinski. McConnell can bring it down inside the area. Great feet from Col brilliant feet from Che Cooper, but the shot didn't match. Launched forward to the head of Tom Bonner. Heads it away. Good header clear from Bonner. Bit forward once more. Max Statham heads it away. Comes for Luke Allen. Now Janae Mead sends the ball long. Colson can bring it down. It's a great turn from Colson. Looks to shoot on his left. Does he wrong foot the keeper? He does a little bit, but Barry's able to recover and claim. He just didn't catch it, Colson. If he'd have got any real power on it, it might have been the second goal that Darford have probably deserved in this second half. As St Albans now coming away down the right hand side. Great ball for Cooper, who's in down the right flank. He can stand the ball up towards Jeffers. Goes for an overhead kick. Oh my word, what a goal from Sean Jeffers with his first touch of the ball. I don't know if he knew a lot about it, but it was stood up into the area and it's hooked back towards the goal by Sean Jeffers and into the corner. And St Albans City, with their first real attempt at this second half, have got themselves level. It's been against the run of play. And Darford, if they're going to secure second place this afternoon, they're going to need to find a goal in the last 18 minutes. A couple of times they've been asking, asking for one here, but neither have been awarded. That's a mistake. Luke Allen almost gets in. Must be a foul right on the edge of the area and is. It's a five-man St Albans wall now with a man lying down behind that wall. Luke Coulson, it'll be. Coulson, good save for Coulson! the back in front and it's Pierre Fonko off the bench. It didn't go in directly from the free kick, but Fonko was on hand to tap in the rebound. It was a good save from Dylan Berry, but he just palmed it straight into Pierre Fonko and it deflects off him and into the back of the net. Looking at the referee, he takes a glance at his watch, but no movement as of yet. Colson looks to have gone out for a throw, but again, the decision doesn't go Darford's way. We've played four minutes. Poor touch from Blackman will let Luke Allen in. Another glance at the watch from the referee. Surely we're done. Winter on it for Darford. Whistles ringing around Darford's ground here. And then the referee blows for full time. It's the biggest win of Darford's season. Make no mistake about it. That is a monumental three points for Alan Dowson's Dartford.